Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another Borderlands video and today's topic will be the history of sirens and they're best known for their remarkable phase abilities for only being women and their natural blue tattoos showing up predominantly on one side of their body. So we'll start the video off with the known siren characters in the Borderlands game universe. We know of Angel, Commandant Steel, Lilith, and Maya. Now it's very important that I make note that this is the number of known sirens in the game universe. Aisha and the older sirens from the Borderlands comics are not part of the in-game canon, therefore the events depicted in the comics are separate from the games. There can be only six sirens in the universe at one time according to Handsome Jack, and we find this out during the mission Assassinate the Assassins in Borderlands 2. This means that when a siren passes away, another one is born to keep the number of sirens alive in the universe at six. So currently in the Borderlands universe, we only know of two of the six alive sirens, and that's currently Lilith and Maya as Steel and Angel have passed away. So before we go any further with the video, let's talk about where the term siren comes from, and it comes from Greek mythology. Now, sirens were said to be made up of parts of women and parts of birds. Sirens were depicted as birds with a woman's head. They've also been depicted as a woman with bird's legs, sometimes with wings, other times without. And they were said to be able to play a variety of instruments, but oftentimes that instrument was a harp. Now, sirens were said to lure nearby sailors through music from their instruments and sometimes their beautiful voices in order to have the men shipwreck on the coasts of their islands. Sirens were only depicted as women in Greek mythology, just like they are in the Borderlands universe. Sirens have a unique relationship to Iridium, the Iridians, and the Vaults. We can see that Lilith's powers have been significantly boosted in Borderlands 2 as she was able to phase Sanctuary away from harm, and Handsome Jack even mentions that due to the Iridium he was pumping through Lilith, he was able to stab her over and over again and she would almost instantly heal her wounds. Handsome Jack also utilized Iridium to strengthen Angel's abilities by constantly pumping Iridium through her, but increased iridium use will lead to negative side effects. Lilith is showing signs of addiction and Angel has been exposed to so much that she died within minutes of having her supply of iridium cut off. It's currently unknown if there's a relationship between all sirens and iridium as Maya seemingly has no connection to iridium, but there may be an incubation period before the iridium starts to affect a siren and Maya hadn't been on Pandora all that long before the events of Borderlands 2. During the events of the pre-sequel, the Guardians allowed Lilith to walk straight into the vault and Lilith said that she didn't even feel like they tried to stop her and it was almost as they wanted her to go into the vault. And of course we know that sirens have the ability to charge vault keys and the ability to situate a vault key in order to activate it. Now, all sirens have a phase ability, which is their unique siren ability. We know of Angel's, Lilith's, and Maya's, and Angel's ability is phase shift, which allows for her to spawn things at her will. Now, according to a blog written by Keith Schuler, a senior designer on Borderlands 2, phase shift is the ability to make her environment appear however she wants. In the mission where angels fear to tread, we can see Angel phase shift a control core away and also phase shift ammo boxes for the Vault Hunter. Lilith's phase ability is called Phase Walk and this allows her to enter another dimension altogether for a short set of time in order to replenish her health and damage her enemies upon re-entering their dimension. And Maya's phase ability is called Phase Lock and this allows Maya to trap her enemies in an orb of energy from another dimension. Maya can replenish some of her health from her enemies that she kills in her phase lock. Commandant Steel never revealed her phase ability to the Vault Hunters, so we have no idea what it could have been. All sirens share some very unique physical traits. They all have distinct tattoos predominantly on one side of their body, and all the tattoos have been blue on all sirens except Angel, with hers being a silverish white tattoo. All the sirens have been able to generate wings as well, Lilith generates hers during her Phoenix skill, Maya generates hers during the Blight Phoenix skill, and Angels were shown when she was revealed to be human. Again, we never see Commandant Steel's wings, but it's likely this is due to the Vault Hunter never being around when she was using her Siren abilities. 
All right, guys, so that was the history of Sirens. Unfortunately, there's not a ton out there on Sirens, and I really hope in the next game that they start to piece together some more of the backstory on how Sirens are born, how they came to be, and maybe we'll find out more and more about how they're related to the Guardians, the Iridians, the Vaults, and Iridium, of course. So hopefully we'll be able to see that soon. If you guys like this, consider leaving a like. If you guys got something to add, go ahead and drop a comment down below. And if you guys like Borderlands, go ahead and subscribe. I do a ton of Borderlands stuff and we got a great community here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Later.